Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today we are going to talk about WWE Monday Night Raw September 2nd 2024 Labor Day baby. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. All right, so we've got three hours of Monday Night Raw to cover in eight minutes, so let's giddy up. Uh, Monday Night Raw was taking place in Denver, Colorado, with commentary the new dude, uh, Joe Tessero and Wade Barrett. Um, Joe Tessero, my first impression of the whole night is that you were a little flat. You didn't put that much excitement on anything that you were talking about. Until the final hour, it seemed like you got like, some kind of fire underneath your ass, and you started going, and you're now, oh, dear, boo, boo, and I could feel that you actually cared about what was happening. All right, so the first thing, Rhea Ripley came down to the ring to address, you know, the victory with the Terror Twins over um, Dominic and Liv at Bastion Berlin. She said, now that that is out of the way, Liv, I pinned you. I won a match against you for the women's title. Dominic came down, said Liv wasn't here, but she will accept your challenge. Liv, of course, attacked her from behind, got her leg, uh, got Rhea's leg stuck in the rope, hit a little bit, she was injured, out came Damian Priest, scared them away. Damian Priest will have a match later tonight against two people in Judgment Day. You know, the tag team, JD and Finn Balor. With a special yeet! I'm not going to go over the ball of the backstage segment, so that's just a spoiler. They will team up Jay Uso and Damian Priest. All right, uh, then it is going to a six-person match. It was uh, American Maid, uh, Brutus, and Judas Creed, and Ivy Niles versus Alpha Academy, Otis, Tazawa, and Mexican Dupree. This match was just a standard uh, six-way person mixed tag team match. Guys can't fight girls, girls can't fight guys. In the end, uh, Maxine Dupree was going to do a worm, and then um, basically Chai Gable distracted her, and Ivy Niles got her in submission, and she tapped out. This is going to get a down. And following the match, Chad Gable came in the ring and said, Hey, Wyatt Six, I want four of you chomps to face us four next week in a match. Four people of your choosing. Then Uncle Howdy or, you know, uh, Bo Dallas came down and said, You got it, buddy. <laughs> so that's going to happen next week. Uh, the next match was Selena Vega making her fresh return from the arm injury versus Shayna Baszler. This match was... Uh, it's going to get a down. That's right. It is getting a down. I cannot stand Pure Fusion. I can't stand Sonya Deville. Zoe Stark isn't that bad. Uh, Shining the Blazer won when, uh, you know, Zelina Vega went into the outside to beat up the other two Pure Fusion or Pure Fusion Collective members. And then when she came back in the ring, she got kicked in the head. One, two, three. Shayna Blazer won. That's why she is going to get a down. Uh, then there was another backstage segment, and that was the one with Rhea Ripley saying, Hey, well, I think I got somebody who can help you tonight, Damian Priest. And, he, and he's like, Yeet! Or the crowd said, Yeet. Uh, CM Punk brought in the 9 o'clock hour, and he said, I am done with Drew McIntyre. I got the bracelet back. It is time for us to go for the gold. Gunther, I am coming for you. And as he left the ring and his music started playing, he went and shook hands with the new guy, I think. Not Wade Barrett, because Wade Barrett's a little bitch. Um, to CM Punk, I should say. So I know if CM Punk would say hello to him. And then Drew McIntyre came, beat the shit out of CM Punk, threw him in the ring, gave him a claymore, took off the bracelet, broke it, got the pieces, shoved it down his mouth, did a little Dan Housen move, but minus the teeth, kicked the shit out of him, kicked his head, did another claymore. CM Punk was bleeding out the mouth. They went to commercial break. When they came back, CM Punk was getting loaded in the ambulance. Drew, Mac <laughs> Drew McIntyre came again, threw him off the thing, beat the shit out of him, choked him. So I am sure it is going to lead to a match in a Hell in a Cell at Bad Blood. And if it doesn't, well, I don't know what the hell uh, WWE is doing. Uh, the, uh, that segment, I'm going to give that segment an up or down because I love CM Punk. That's getting it up. That's right. It's getting it up. Uh, I have two hours in less than four minutes. Okay. So then we had a triple threat match. Dirty Dominic Mysterio versus Dragon Lee and Illo Dragunov. Uh, this match was pretty good. And then what happened? Oh, of course. Carlito came down, started beating up Dragon Lee. Then Damian Priest came down, scared off Carlito, scared off Dominic, which turned to a one-on-one -on -one between Dragunov and Dragon Lee. A lot of hard-hitting moves that looked uh, kind of brutal. Elio Dragunov did some kind of, I think he did that, that clothesline shit he does or something crap like that, and he won by pinfall. This match is going to get a down. Because, believe it or not, I really wanted Dom to win. I know he wasn't going to win, but I like Dominic. I'm not a big fan of Dragunov, and I'm not a big fan of Dragon Lee. Uh, then, do-do-do-do, uh, do-do-do-do-do-do. All right, the next thing was, um, 
something about Braun Strowman because Bronson Reed's out because of COVID, so they needed a replacement, and, you know, Braun Strowman's like, I'm ready and I can fight, I'm not injured, and Adam Pearce is like, sure, yeah, go ahead. If you uh, can tell me you can do it, go ahead. Next was a women's tag team titles contender match. Believe it or not, these pieces of shit, the Unholy Union, Alvi Fire and Alsa Dawn versus my girls, Damage Control. Damage Control lost in the end. Uh, they did what's that move? The Unholy Union hit the gory special flatliner combo on EO Sky for the victory. What happened was um, Kerry Zane went to the outside. Uh, Cargill and uh, Blair were outside watching the match because they're the champions. And I think Alba pushed Blair in the way. And then Cargill punched um uh, Carrie Sane when she got up, but that should have been a disqualification, and the ref definitely see all that too, so I don't know, and now the Unholy Union is the number one contenders for the tag team titles, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them, why, why, why? I know I said the other day I wasn't too, um, I didn't think they sucked in the ring on Bash of Berlin, but I don't know, um, backstage segment where Damian Priest confirmed that he is going to be with Damian, I mean with uh, Yeet Boy, Jey Uso, I knew I wasn't going to talk about it, and I just did, and then we had Gunther coming to the ring to talk about how he was the man, and that he beat Randy Orton at his best, and now he's like top tier, of course, oh, oh, oh. Sami Zayn came to the ring and said, oh, I beat you for the Intercontinental Championship title, and I can beat you for the world title, and Gunther's like, nah, dude, nah, I don't think so, you're your chump change, he walked away, and then uh, Sami Zayn's like, yo, you never turn down a match against anybody, so either you're a chump or a chump bet, but you will take my challenge eventually, and that, that was it, fizzled out. Sammy's not going to beat Gunther. Gunther's not losing the title. If Randy Orton didn't do it, Sammy Zane is not doing it, guys. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not going to happen. Uh, in the back area, Jay Uso was talking to about his interview. Or was in an in interview talking about his tag team match later tonight with Damian Priest. Ron Breaker came and was like, Yo, dog, you better uh, quit uh, the IC title tournament or you're going to get your ass beat. And Jay's like, Nah, dog, I'm going to beat your ass. Yeet! And that was the end of that. So I think Braun Breaker is going to beat his ass next week during that Fatal 4-Way match. All right, what do we got here? Oh, 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 it was finally a triple threat match between Braun Strowman, Sheamus, and Ludwig. Kaiser, my man, Ludwig. Uh, Ludwig did not pull off the victory. It seems that a shillelagh by Pete Dunn took out Sheamus, and then Braun Strowman got a power slam on my boy Ludwig, and Braun won. That is getting it down. Oh, yeah, that women's stuff. Uh, Match uh, the EO Sky uh, versus Fire and Dawn. <laughs> Down. All right, and um, we're getting close. Oh, I got to go to one more match. Come on. It was Damian Priest and Jay Uso versus the tag team champions Finn Balor and JD McDonough. Um, uh, what happened? Uh, there was a match. Jay Uso was in the ring most of the time, got his ass beat. Damian Priest got in, they got the hot tag. Uh, then he started beating some ass. Then uh, Jay Uso did his. Uh, splash off the top, or no, the spear, went to the top, was going to do a splash, Liv Morgan came in, tripped him out, he did the balls, oh, he fell into the ring, and then Rhea Ripley came out, scared off Liv Morgan, and then Damian Priest was able to hit a razor's edge on J.D. McDerner, or whatever the hell his name is, Jay hit the splash, one, two, three, they won the tag team match, that is getting in, Oop, that's right, it's getting up, my name is Aaron, thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron, I will see you next time, where we will try to cover uh, more stuff, more things, and of course, more of me. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Is this the right one? Ba-boom!